Hey everyone, welcome back to Effect for You channel. Today, we are going to create history and documentary slideshow, like this. So let's get started. First create a new comp, 1920 by 1080, this is our main comp. Then create a new black solid layer. Now create a new comp, 5000 by 4000 pixels, I call this BG comp. Here I have some elements, so drag the grunge image into the timer line, and resize little bit. And apply motion tile effect. Output width and height 300, and check mirror edges. Now go to main comp and drag BG comp into the timer line. And turn on 3D icon. Now select two views, and move BG comp position back side of the comp. And increase the size. Also turn on transform collapse icon. Now create new full HD comp. This is our placeholder 1 comp. Drag your image into the timer line. Now again create a new comp. I call this invert matte comp. Drag our matte footage into the timer line. Select layer and apply invert effect. Then apply shift channel effect. And change alpha to luminance. Now our background has transparent effect. Now create a new comp, I call this matte. Drag invert matte comp into the timer line. Now go to main comp and drag placeholder, and matte comp into the timer line. Select placeholder and change track matte alpha matte. Here you can see. Also turn on the 3D icon, now go to two views. And move both layer back side of the comp and increase the size. And also make gap between both layers. Now create an adjustment layer. And apply curves effect. And adjust your curves like this. Now apply fast blur effect. Iterations and blur radius too. Now again drag placeholder comp into the timer line. And turn on 3D icon, move the position little bit back side of the comp. Now select placeholder layer then go to layer menu, then layer style, and add stroke. Now apply rough and edges effect. Border 25. Edges sharpness 5. And complexity 10. Here you can see. Now apply sharpen effect. And sharpen amount 12. Then apply tint and curves effect. And adjust your curves like this.
cool. Now create new composition. 2500 by 2500 pixels. I call this texture comp. Drag texture image into the timeline. And apply shift channel effects, and change alpha to luminance. Resize lay a little bit and adjust bottom side of the comp. Then drag another texture image into the timeline. And apply the same shift channel effects. Rotate the layer 90 degrees. And adjust top side of the comp. Go to two views and move layer position, back side of the comp. And increase the size. Duplicate the texture layer and adjust between both textures. Now go to main comp and drag the texture comp into the timeline. And turn on collapse transform icon. Now again create a new comp. 1080 by 1500 pixels. I call this parrot text. Drag our letter text image into the timeline. Now select Pen Tool, increase stroke around 350 pixels, and create a stroke like this. Now open Shape Layer and add Trim Paths. Then open Trim Paths, go to First Frame, and add a keyframe on End and change End Amount 0%, then go to 3 seconds forward and change End Amount 100%. Select bottom layer and change track matte alpha matte. Cool. Now go to main comp, and drag parrot text comp into the timeline. And turn on 3D icon. Go to two views and move the parrot position behind our main placeholder. Also move the layer behind the main placeholder layer. Now duplicate the layer and move above the main placeholder. Also adjust the layer right side of the comp. Now drag the splatter footage into the timeline. Also enable time remapping. And increase the layer. And turn on 3D icon. Move the position back side of the comp and resize little bit. Now duplicate the layer and move top side of the comp. Now create a new comp. 1400 by 800 pixels. I call this brush text. Drag brush footage into the timeline. Enable time remapping and increase the layer. Now apply shift channel effect. Change alpha to luminance. Then apply tint effect. Change white map color little bit dark brown color. Now duplicate the brush layer. 
and delete tint effect. Then select text tool and type your text. Now select brush layer and change track matte alpha matte. Cool. Now go to main comp and drag brush text comp into the timeline. Turn on 3D icon and resize according to you and adjust bottom side of the comp. Now create a camera. I am using 35 mm preset camera. Then create an all layer. This is for our position control. And also turn on 3D icon. Parent our camera with position layer. Now create another null layer. This is for rotation control. And turn on 3D icon. Now open camera option and increase focus distance to 2500 pixels. Now go to around 3 seconds forward and add a keyframe on position. And little bit adjust the Z position. Here you can also adjust the brush text and para text layer. Now go to first frame and move Z position close to the camera. Now open rotation layer. Parent position layer with rotation layer. Go to first frame. Add a keyframe on Z rotation and change Z rotation 3 degree, then go to 3 seconds forward and change Z rotation 1 degree. Select all keyframes and easy ease them. Select position keyframes and make your graph like this. Also apply the wiggle expression on texture and main placeholder's position. Perfect. select position null layer, go to around 2 seconds forward and add a keyframe on scale. Then go to 5 to 6 seconds forward and increase scale amount 5%. Select both keyframes and easy ease them. Now create new white solid layer. I call this fade in. Go to first frame and add a keyframe on opacity. Then go to few frames forward and change opacity amount 60%. Then again go to few frames forward and change opacity 0%. Adjust the keyframes according to you. Also move, placeholder and matte lay a few frames forward. Now select main placeholder. 
Go to first frame and change opacity 0%. Then go to few frames forward, and change opacity 50%. Then again go to few frames forward and change opacity 100%. Now create a new adjustment layer and apply optics compensation effect. Field of view 50 and check reverse lens distortion. Cool. Now drag light leak footage and change layer mode add. Drag another light leak footage and change layer more add. Now create one more adjustment layer and search color balance effect and adjust the amount. You can adjust these amount according to you. Now create one more adjustment layer and search CC vignette effect. Change amount 200 and angle of view 50. Then apply fast blur effect. Select ellipse tool and create a ellipse like this, change mask inverted. Adjust your mask and increase mask feather. Now apply curves effect and adjust your curves. Then again create an adjustment layer and apply sharpen effect. Increase sharpen amount 25. Then apply photo filter effect. Then apply unsharp mask. Now create one more adjustment layer and apply noise effect. Uncheck color noise and noise amount 10%. Perfect, our animation has done, hit zero for ender. Thanks for watching, I hope you like the video, so please, like it. Share it, and subscribe to the channel, for more tutorial I'll see you in the next video.